Chapter 91 91, you're finally here you are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 91 91, you're finally here in a place filled with mist, where the ground was covered with blood. Battle of fire and ice was taking place for a long time. Large monsters were fighting small warriors. The large number of monsters was giving their side a slight edge over the well-trained warriors of the Banshee tribe. Martial skills were being used left and right. While the monsters were filled with bloodlust, the Banshee warriors were filled with determination to protect their land and their home. Every one of them is fighting for a reason, for their tribe, to protect their family. To protect their land. The battle raged on as hundreds of lives kept perishing on this bloody day. At some distance from the battle, a different type of battle was taking place. A battle between the Queen of Banshee tribe and the Monster King of the Monster tribe. After a long battle, it seemed like the Queen was giving a fair fight to the Monster King, not lacking one bit. I don't know how long this can go on, only one Monster King is so strong, and the Skeleton King hadn't even joined the fight. I can't even use Ice Prison to kill the Tiger King as I'll turn useless in this war from the backlash of using ice prison. The Elphia tribe still isn't here with that human to help us. Is this going to be the fall of my empire? The fall of our thousands of years of heritage? The queen thought in her mind as she kept attacking Tiger King. Old Tiger, I never thought you'd take so long to take care of a little girl. Looks like you've grown weak in your old age. Skeleton King laughed by the side. She's the strongest of our opponents, wouldn't it be bad if I ended this fight too soon without having proper fun? Tiger King replied in a calm manner. If you don't take care of her soon, I will have to join in on the fun. Don't forget monster emperors are watching. I don't want this battle to last for long. Skeleton King said, staring at the Tiger King. All right, all right. I'll end it. You're such a pain, Skull. Tiger King said in an annoyed expression. Three sons of blazing destruction. Tiger King roared as the sky above him turned flaming red. A huge wave of fire appeared above his head, which started compressing. Soon a sun made of fire appeared above him, then a second and a third. All rotating above him like planets around the sun. Looks like you are finally getting serious. Skeleton King laughed as he saw Tiger King use his martial skill. It. Looks like I have no choice. It's the end either way, so I'm going to take him down as well. Queen Mia let out as she gazed at these three sons. Ice prison. Queen Mia's eyes turned white as she muttered lightly. Four huge walls appeared around the Tiger King, rising up so high that they even covered the three suns orbiting above the Tiger King. The opening at the top was closed as well as a thick ice slab formed on the top of the walls forming something like a room, albeit a deadly one that completely engulfed Tiger King. The four walls started closing in on him, slowly but surely. Dot Queen Mia felt like she lost all her strength as she used Ice Prison. Weakness engulfed her and she knew the fight was over for her as she couldn't use any other martial skills. Skeleton King's expressions changed as he saw the ice prison engulf the Tiger King. Inferno. He made a slight gesture and a small fire appeared on the ground. This fire kept enlarging and changing shape until it finally took the form of a giant skeleton over three meters tall. This giant skeleton had a hammer made of fire in his hand as he started moving towards the compressing ice prison. You think you can stop me with this little prison of yours? I have heard that the ice prison of Banshee Queen is so strong that a single monster king can't break them. Let's see if there's a truth to it. Tiger King said fiercely as he made a gesture. One of the suns orbiting above him moved forward and crashed on the front wall. A large impact took place which shook the whole ice prison but Tiger King noticed that the wall was still standing strong without a single sign of damage. It is really strong. But I'm not weak either. The Tiger King roared in anger. The remaining two suns orbiting about him moved towards each other as they combined. 
Their size increased by 50% and their flames turned even darker in color, looking even more threatening. Tiger King made another gesture as this son of fire started moving towards the front wall as well. The flaming skeleton made by Skeleton King waved his large fiery hammer as he attacked towards the wall of ice prison. Strangely enough, this large fiery hammer and Tiger King's burning sun attacked the same spot, but on the opposite sides of the wall. The wall of ice prison broke apart as it wasn't able to handle the full strength attacks of two monster kings at the same time, giving the Tiger King the path to freedom. Queen Mia coughed a mouthful of blood as her ice prison was broken. She dropped to her knees with a pale face. Tiger King came out and saw the flaming skeleton disappearing with his large hammer. I never asked for your help. I could have handled it myself, Tiger King said in a grumpy voice. Sure sure. I just got worried since you were taking so long, but you were probably just having fun inside watching the walls close in. Skeleton King said with a laugh. Humph. Tiger King snorted and started walking towards Queen Mia. I enjoyed our fight, but it's already over. But as I said, I won't kill you, I'll just tie you up and give you to Old Bear and Old Bull to be shared. Tiger King said with a slight smile. Queen Mia gazed over the whole battleground and saw most of the tribe leaders defeated. Mazuma's was lying on the ground inside a crater as Bull King stood near him with a casual expression. On the other hand, tribe leader Bala was bleeding all over as Bear King kept brutally attacking him even when Bala was defeated. The same scenery could be seen everywhere on the battlefield. It's over. We are defeated. Even though they didn't come to help us, I hope the Elphia tribe will survive, and with the help of that human achieve victory when monsters attack them. Only then can the young ones I sent to the Elphia tribe have a chance at survival and a safe life. I pray that they stay safe and continue our legacy in the future. Queen Mia thought as a little tear fell from her eyes. As the Tiger King was walking towards Queen Mia, he suddenly stopped as his expressions altered. Looks like you're finally here, Skeleton King said laughing as he noticed something. Chapter 92 92, Far Worse Than a Monster You Are Listening at Novel Full. Audio. As the Tiger King was walking towards Queen Mia, he suddenly stopped as his expression changed. Looks like you're finally here, Skeleton King said while laughing. A wall made of plants appeared between them and Queen Mia, obstructing their view. Why wouldn't we be here? Since everyone else is here, how can we stay behind? Our warriors are not cowards. A voice filled with determination could be heard while a large army led by two people riding Elfian horses could be seen walking from the right side of the battlefield. All other monster kings turned their gaze towards them, including Bull King and Bear King who were about to deal a killing blow to Mizumas and Bala but stopped. So they are here as well. Saves us the trouble of going to find them later, Bull King laughed. Now only that human is the one missing, Bear King muttered as he gazed at the Elfian army. Ha, huh, interesting. They are using distraction to achieve their goal and the little ones are falling for it. Monster Emperor Shantia commented with an amused expression. Exactly, these guys need to learn a lot. Never take your eyes off your opponents. But let them learn this lesson themselves and don't inform them. Monster Emperor Terras said slightly. Unbeknownst to the monster kings, as their focus was on the Elphia tribe, a little plant grew near most of them that quickly grew in size and swallowed other tribe leaders who were lying half-dot-dead after the fight. But once the monster kings noticed this, it was too late as the plant had already entered the ground. Soon those plants grew again, but this time near Queen Mia who was kneeling on the opposite side of the wall made of plants. All the tribe leaders were thrown out of these plants, heavily injured, near Queen Mia. The Elphia army soon joined the Banshee army as the Banshee army regrouped. I never thought I would see Queen Mia on her knees in front of the enemy. Tribe leader Tensha commented as he stood near her. I see that you're punctual as usual, Tensha, Queen Mia said sarcastically. Of course, a gentleman always arrives on time. Here. Get up. 
Ten Sha laughed as he gave a helping hand. Ten Sha reached his hand out towards the queen, hoping for her to grab his hand and get up, but the queen just stared at him with a blank expression. Since her body was still covered in a robe and Ten Sha didn't know about her hands, he did this gesture unknowingly. Ten Sha awkwardly retracted his hand, thinking she didn't want to hold his hands. Queen Mia stood up by herself with great difficulty, even in such a weakened state. She looked around as if trying to find a person. That human isn't here. Why are you the only ones here? Queen Mia asked with a strange expression. Ah. Master Chen was busy in cultivation and we couldn't contact him. Since we lacked the time, we came here without him. We left people there to inform him about this calamity as soon as he comes out so he'll help us. Ten Sha explained with an awkward smile. I appreciate your gesture to come help us, but are you here to increase the dead count? Most of the war is lost, all the monster kings are standing tall with only light wounds while the monster emperors didn't even take part in this war, whereas, on our side, most of the tribe leaders are either easily defeated or seriously injured. You should have just stayed there and survived. At least the monsters wouldn't get the satisfaction of killing all the tribes. Queen Mia said with a downcast expression. I apologize. Tribe leader Tensha didn't know what to say as he replied awkwardly in a confused tone. Su hit Tensha's back with his elbow as he stared at him with a strict expression, as if reminding Tensha to act with the dignity of a tribe leader. Without him, there's no hope for us to win, or even survive. Queen Mia commented. Since you're here, now all the dishes are served on the table for us to enjoy. Only the dessert is missing. That human kid. Bear King laughed as he joined the Tiger King and Skeleton King. Yeah, how come he still hasn't come out? Is he so scared that he's still hiding inside, watching all of you facing death alone? No worries, we'll let him enjoy your death and when all of you die, he can watch his own death. Tiger King said with a slight smile. What are you talking about? That human is not here. Queen Mia said to Tiger King. Do you think you could fool us so easily? We have specific information that the human was staying in your tribe. Skeleton King said in his heavy voice. He was here but he left not long ago. Since you have the information of him staying here, how come you don't know of him leaving? Queen Mia said in a mocking tone to Tiger King. If he was here, do you think you'd still be standing there with your head intact? Queen Mia said to Tiger King with a fierce expression. Hearing her words, every monster king's expression changed and even the monster emperors couldn't help but be shocked. Come to think of it, I haven't seen my monster general who was staying here to keep an eye on the human. Tiger King couldn't help but let out as every monster king heard him. Dot he looked around extensively, trying to find someone. Bake. He roared loudly but no response came from anywhere on the battleground. If he's not here, there's only one explanation. He was killed. Tiger King said with a grim expression. Queen Mia, you killed our monster general to help the human escape. You deserve death. Skeleton King said with anger clearly written on his face. Do you think I need to help him to kill a puny monster general? The queen laughed loudly as everyone stared at her. Aren't you curious why we didn't use our barrier to delay you? The queen asked with an amused expression on her face. Why? Bear King couldn't help but ask. It was broken by someone. Can you guess who could have done it? Queen Mia asked with an interested expression. All the monster kings looked at monster emperors, who in turn looked at each other. Both shook their heads to each other as if saying they weren't their one who did it. Don't look at each other, it wasn't a monster. But someone far worse than a monster, Queen Mia said as she remembered the worst moment of her life. Chapter 93 93, Law of Would You Are Listening at Novel Full. Audio. Don't look at each other, it wasn't a monster. But it was far worse than a monster. Queen Mia said as she remembered the worst moment of her life. That human. 
Monster Emperor Terras let out softly in a questioning tone. As always, monster emperors are smarter than the monster kings, Queen Mia acknowledged with a smile shocking everyone other than Tensha who already knew about it. I don't believe you. You're obviously lying to try and scare us so that we will go back in fear of that human. But it won't work. Bull King said in a disbelieving tone. Oh, you think I'm lying. Queen Mia gave a sad smile as she said that. A.I.A., can you take this robe off me? Queen Mia said as a little girl walked towards her. Everyone watched intensely as A.I.A. took Queen Mia's robe off. As the robe was opened, everyone could see her missing hands. She was just standing there with a melancholic air around her as everyone stared at her. This. This. Tensha stuttered as he saw it. Even he didn't know of this happening. He just kept staring at Queen Mia with his mouth wide open. H. How. Even heavily injured Mazumas and Bala were shocked as they found out about this. You think I would cut off my own hands for this lie? Are you really that stupid? Queen Mia said as she started laughing like crazy. What do you mean? What does it have to do with the stories you made up about that human? Bear King asked. Although he was shocked seeing Queen Mia like this, he couldn't understand what it had to do with that human. I clearly didn't cut my hands off myself, neither did the monsters. And none of the other tribe leaders have the strength to. Who do you think this did to me? Take a guess. I want to see how smart the monsters actually are. Queen Mia said sarcastically. The dot the human. Tiger King said in a serious voice. Oh, I thought you'd take longer. Looks like monster kings aren't as stupid as I thought. Queen Mia said with a slight smile. She's obviously lying. Why would the human do it? Tian Shen had a good relationship with all the tribes, this human being is his descendant. He wouldn't cut off her hands. She's clearly lying. It's an elaborate plan to make us believe the strength of that human and retreat in fear. She knew she couldn't defeat us even after getting help from every tribe so she planned everything. She even had her own hands cut off when she found out that we were coming. What an evil scheme. Bear King said proudly as if he uncovered a big scheme. Most monster kings couldn't help but think that his words made sense. Even the monster emperors fell in deep thought hearing this. Enough time dot wasting. We'll think about everything after killing you. Bull King said seriously as he stopped thinking. Can you fight? Tensha asked every tribe leader there, most of whom stood up bravely ready to enter another combat while some of them stayed there with serious injuries. I can't fight physically as most of my bones are broken but I can use my law of wind to help, leader of the Barong tribe, Bala said with a face full of determination. I'm the same, I can't even stand up, but I'm ready to help in other ways. The leader of the Mulan tribe, Mazumas replied with a downcast expression. I am facing the backlash and I can't use any attacks since my ice prison was broken. I'm a dead burden for everyone as I can't even fight physically, Queen Mia told Tensha with a sad look on her face. So we have ten monster kings against the bunch of us. Our odds are looking really good aren't they? Tensha joked as he looked at everyone ready to fight. This is the final battle. The battle for survival and the battle of existence. Brave warriors. Think of your family. Think of your friends. Think of those who stayed back. To protect them all. We must fight. We must fight to our death until either we or the enemy are the only ones left standing. I'm ready to put my heart and soul into this battle till the moment I die. Will you all do the same? Tensha roared loudly as his voice echoed in the entire battlefield. Yes. 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 Every warrior present there started roaring loudly as they were filled with fighting spirit. No matter which tribe the warrior belonged to, Mulan, Barong, Elphia, Banshee, every warrior joined in. Using the law of wood to increase their morale. Impressive trick. 
Monster Emperor Shintia commented from the sidelines as he saw plants appear throughout the battlefield. As they started spreading a gentle smell in the atmosphere increasing the morale of their opponents, of course. Although the law of wood isn't known for its strength, it's mostly known for its versatility. This little guy there is using this law really well. Monster Emperor Terras said to Monster Emperor Shintia. Attack. Tensha roared as his army started attacking the monsters using the law of wood. Although their attacks were weak in front of the law of fire, through their good utilization, they were able to give a proper fight to the monsters. All other tribe leaders did the same and ordered their army to battle, which they did with great spirit. Monster army and the coalition army had finally started fighting fiercely. Although the monsters still held the advantage, because of the addition of the Elphia army, this advantage was reduced by a large amount. What do you say we get involved as well? It's boring watching them fight. Tiger King said fiercely as he gazed at Tensha. Why don't you fight me then? Challenged Tensha. Sue, you help Mizumas and Bala take care of those two, Tensha said as he pointed toward Skeleton King and Bull King. Dot Tensha soon informed the people of the fighting plan as everyone took to their opponents while Tensha started fighting against Tiger King. Plants kept appearing trying to attack Tiger King, but Tiger King kept burning those plants with his fiery flames. Earth Breaking Fist Tensha roared as he threw a punch out. Tiger King threw a punch out as well, but just before impact many vines appeared and grabbed Tiger King's hands and changing its momentum in a different direction but just a slight variation. This small disturbance was enough to have a large impact on the battle's outcome as Tiger King's punch missed while Tensha's punch struck Tiger King's head making him fly far away and crash on the ground. Tiger King soon got up with his face covered in dust as he coughed out a mouthful of dust. Tiger King stared at Tensha with great anger. Chapter 94 94, Mysterious Killing Intent You are listening at NovelFull.audio Tiger King soon stood up with his face covered in dust as he coughed out a mouthful of dust. Tiger King stared at Tensha with great anger. You are going to die. Tiger King roared in resentment as he rushed towards Tensha and punched out. Tensha again punched back. Just like before, Vines appeared at the last moment, trying to change the trajectory of the Tiger King's punch. Won't work, twice. Tiger King said with a straight face as flames appeared around his fist. As the vines grabbed his hand trying to change his trajectory, but they weren't able to do anything as they were immediately torn apart as Tiger King had used the law of strength in this punch as well. The remnants of the vines holding his hand were burned to ashes. Tiger King's fist met Tensha's fist, but only after a momentary contact, Tensha was sent flying away like a broken kite falling on the ground and continued to slide for quite some time before actually stopping. Tensha's clothes were torn apart and blood could be seen coming out from the wounds on his back. As expected of a monster king. Your strength is top grade, Tensha said with a painful smile as he stood up, trying to act brave. You should be happy that you get to die by the hands of a monster king like me. You must have done some good things in your past life to have such good fortune, Tiger King said as he stared at Tensha. Yes, I did many good things in past lives, but it's this life I did many wrong things in. I should never have slept with your mother, I never knew she'd get pregnant so easily giving birth to something like you. Tensha replied mockingly. How dare you talk bad about my dear mother. You are looking to die. Tiger King roared as anger covered his face. Demon of flaming hell. The Tiger King made a fist and punched out. But this time not towards Tensha, he punched at the ground. As soon as his fist touched the ground, a large crater appeared as a few cracks started developing in the nearby area. Heavy flames came out from the cracks, these cracks kept widening releasing even more fire. All this fire was collected in front of the Tiger King, which started taking the shape of a demonic tiger. It looked like a flaming tiger but two demonic horns could be seen coming out from its head. The two flaming tails behind him made it look even more mysterious. 
It stared at Tian Sha as two large fangs could be seen protruding from its mouth. He finally used it, his strongest skill. I guess that guy is already dead now and here I was hoping to get an opportunity to fight him. Skeleton King said as he looked disappointed. Go and have a fill to your heart's content. Tiger Kind said with a brutal smile as he stared at Ten Sha with deep anger. Oh, F. Looks like I screwed up, I went too far and made him even angrier. Ten Sha thought as he stood at his ground bravely. The flaming tiger roared as he jumped high in the sky in the direction of Ten Sha. Guardian of the forest. Ten Sha muttered as he made a few gestures with his hands. His eyes could be seen turning green for a slight moment. A large tree suddenly grew up on the battlefield from nowhere between the flaming tiger and Ten Sha. It kept growing and enlarging. A few branches protruded out of it and took the shape of two hands. All of it happened in a short moment. On the previously completely empty space, now stood a tall humanoid looking tree. As the flaming tiger reached near the tree, it instantly swung one of its paws. The tiger was pushed back as it landed on the ground, whereas a fire started burning in the hand of the tree that touched the tiger. The tree immediately tore off that hand with its other hand, before the fire reached its other portions. A burning piece of wood fell on the ground, which soon turned to ash. A new arm grew in its place, looking exactly like before. You think that little puppet of yours can protect you? Tiger King snorted. The flaming tiger kept attacking while the large tree kept trying to protect its master. However, it didn't take the flaming tiger long to prevail and exterminate the giant tree. Which burned down to its roots leaving nothing behind, but after this battle, the flames of the tiger dimmed slightly. The tiger rapidly advanced towards Tensha and swung its claws towards tribe leader Tensha's chest. Nature Barrier Tensha said, as a light green shield appeared in front of him. As the tiger's claw touched the shield, his flames dimmed even further. The shield was broken after lasting for a moment. Although Tensha retreated backward as the shield was being, the claws still grazed him. Claw marks could be seen on his chest as he crashed on the ground. Blood started following from his chest. The flames of the tiger dimmed so much, it could be seen that it won't be able to exist for long before disappearing completely. Still, this flaming tiger jumped at Tensha trying to bite his head off before disappearing. Many new vines appeared grabbing the flaming tiger in its place, but in a short moment, it soon burned to ashes. But this short moment was enough for Tensha as the tiger's flames dimmed even further before it completely disappeared. Beov is that the dignity of a tribe leader of Elphia. Comfortably lying on the ground in the middle of a war. Came a voice from nearby. Tensha looked at the person and smiled slightly. He tried getting up but the pain he was feeling could be seen in his eyes. You saved me old Su, Tensha said, looking towards Su. Of course I would save you. No matter how bad, you are still our tribe leader, Deputy Leader Su said in a mocking tone. Su walked towards Tensha to give him a helping hand, but his eyes opened wide as a hand penetrated his chest from behind. Aren't you forgetting someone, little insect? How dare you interrupt my fight? Tiger King said in a brutal voice as he took his hand out from Su's chest, leaving a big hole behind. Su. Tensha screamed as he saw all this happen. Su fell to the ground with his eyes still open. T. Take CA. He looked at Tensha and gave a slightly painful smile as he tried saying something, but the light in his eyes disappeared before he could complete his words as he died. Don't worry, my friend, I'll take care of your daughter like she's my own daughter. Tensha muttered to himself as he stared at Su lying on the ground, lifeless. Ha, now no one will interfere in our fight. If I don't create an example out of someone, no one will take me seriously, Tiger King laughed as he said. Oh, I apologize for separating you two. You can go to meet him in the afterlife. Tiger King laughed as he walked towards Tensha who kept gazing at Su. It's so easy that it's getting boring. 
Bull King said as he thrashed Mizumas to the ground. The situation reverted to the way it was before. Every tribe leader lying on the ground bleeding all over while monster kings stood tall. Enough playing around. You should kill your enemies fast. Monster Emperor Terras said from the sidelines. All monster kings heard his words loud and clear. Exactly. Time to finish it. The monster kings said as they decided to give the decisive blow to every tribe leader except Queen Mia who was left alone for the moment. Before they could deal the killing blow, they stopped midway as they looked upwards. Even monster emperors looked upwards feeling shocked. A wave of mysterious killing intent appeared and spread in the atmosphere. Chapter 95 95, You Will All Die For Your Sin You Are Listening At Novel Full. Audio. All the monster kings stopped where they stood as they looked upwards. Even the monster emperors couldn't help but look upwards as a shocked look appeared on their faces. A wave of killing intent spread across the atmosphere. Every person started looking upwards including the heavily wounded tribe leaders and Queen Mia. Even Tensha stopped for a moment as he changed his focus from Su to what was above him. Such fierce killing intent. How strong, Tensha couldn't help but mutter as he felt the killing intent. This killing intent. Queen Mia murmured to herself feeling like she has felt it before. Then her expression changed as she remembered where she had previously felt this killing intent. What? What is that? All of the monster kings stared at the thing above their heads trying to understand what was happening. I've never heard anything like this happening before. What is going on? Monster Emperor Shantia cried out as he kept staring at it intently. Such killing intent coming out from it. It's so. Strong. Monster Emperor Terras said without taking his eyes off the sky. A big spatial crack could be seen in the sky. The strong killing intent was coming out from it and slowly increasing. Soon two hands could be seen emerging from the spatial crack and grabbing onto both sides of the spatial cracks and forcing the gap to widen from the inside. Soon this spatial crack was over a meter wide. Someone stepped out from this spatial crack. It was a boy who looked to be around 12 years old having dark hair and beautiful golden eyes making him a beautiful sight to behold. Two wings could be seen on his back which helped him fly after he emerged from the spatial crack. His left wing being a pitch dot black while the right wing being completely golden which gave him both an almost demonic and angelic appearance at the same time. The killing intent in the atmosphere reached its peak as Long Chen emerged from the spatial crack. The spatial crack soon disappeared like it was never there as the space returned to normal. Long Chen was flying above everyone like a fierce god, looking down on mortals. He. He's here, Queen Mia thought as she subconsciously took a step backward, remembering the day she made the foolish mistake of fighting this demon. Ma. Master Chen you're finally here, Ten Sha cried out as he watched Long Chen flying like an immortal king. He still had a tear in his eyes. Long Chen noticed Ten Sha and the tear in his eyes. He looked around and soon saw Su lying behind the Tiger King without any life and a large hole in his chest. He looked at the Tiger King and noticed the still fresh blood in his hand. His anger increased as he disappeared from his spot. He soon appeared in front of Tiger King and before Tiger King could even understand anything, a hand penetrated his chest and ripped his heart out. Long Chen brutally crushed the Tiger King's heart. The last thing that Tiger King saw before he fell to the ground lifeless was his own heart being crushed before his very eyes. You made a big mistake by killing him. Long Chen muttered as he gazed at Tiger King's body lying on the ground. I'm sorry, I was late, he turned his attention back to Su and said in a low voice filled with sadness. You. You killed Tiger King. Bear King who was standing closest to Tiger King took a step back as soon as he saw Tiger King's body fall to the ground. Ignoring Bear King, Long Chen walked towards Ten Sha and gave him a hand, helping him to get up. After getting up, Ten Sha went towards Su with shaking steps and fell to his knees right next to his body. 
Old man Sue, you died because of me. You always said I need to be dignified as the leader of Elphia but you were the one who was the most dignified. How can I handle anything without you, my friend? Tensha said in a shaky voice as tears filled his eyes. I apologize for not being here on time. Long Chen said softly. You don't have to feel bad Master Chen. It's not your fault. You were busy cultivating, how could you have known? I'm sure you came here as soon as you found out. For that I'm thankful to you. Ten Sha replied to Long Chen. Long Chen stopped looking at them as he turned back without saying anything. You're finally here. Since you're here, you will never go back. Monster Emperor Terras finally moved his large body from the spot where he was standing since the war started as he walked towards Long Chen with his heavy feet while having a sinister smile on his face. Dot, I must say you surprised me. You killed a monster king so easily, which is no small feat we underestimated you. A lot. Monster Emperor Terras continued saying as he walked, while Monster Emperor Shantia still didn't move as he was wondering what he should do. That fierce killing intent, appearing from nowhere and killing a monster king so easily. Just looking at him is enough to give me chills, I'm not even sure if I could defeat him in a fight. Did I actually take a wrong step in agreeing to Terra's plan of revenge and going to war since the human was a kid instead of Belong's plan to pull this human towards us and establish a friendship with him? What should I do now? Old friend, I wish you were here right now, Shantia thought as he kept gazing at Long Chen from far away. The human tribe is really amazing, even a kid is strong enough to kill a monster king. Too bad there's a big difference between a monster king and a monster emperor and you're just a kid. I'm sure you used all your tricks to kill little tiger. Monster Emperor Terras said as he looked at Long Chen. Long Chen moved his lips as a softly spoken promise was made. Although it was said in a low voice, there was no one who didn't hear what he said. You will all die for your sin. That was the only sentence that could be heard far and wide. It shocked everyone present there when Long Chen said it in his heavy voice. To many people, this scene looked like the king of hell giving his judgment on sinners. Chapter 96 96, Can You Hurry You Are Listening at Novel Full Audio Aren't you getting a bit too overconfident, little guy? Now that you have killed a monster king, you dare have the courage to talk to a monster emperor like that. Let me tell you, you have yet to grasp the power difference between an emperor and a king. Monster Emperor Terra snorted as he saw Long Chen standing motionless before him, looking at him with disdain. Oh, why don't you tell me the difference then? Long Chen said in a dismissive tone. The man was brazen enough to look down on the monster emperor as if it was no less than insignificant. Duck, you. Monster Emperor Terras was filled with anger, a scary aura beginning to exude from his body. In the next moment, Terras used his aura on everyone on the field except his own monsters. Almost all of the creatures who were affected couldn't help but feel fear. The terror that they had sensed from the aura was a tad overbearing. Many of the warriors fell to their knees. Meanwhile, those who were able to keep standing had a difficult time of preventing themselves from falling. Even the tribe leaders were affected by the aura. Seeing the struggle of their enemies, the monsters began to laugh at the warriors who fell to their knees by simply taking the brunt of the monster emperor's aura. However, their celebration didn't last for long. As soon as their gazes landed on Long Chen, they shut their mouths. Long Chen merely stood there, glowering at Monster Emperor Terras with an amused smile on his face. Again, it was as if he was watching an entertainer performing a trifling act. Are you done trying to show off? Long Chen asked with a slight smile. But even if you aren't, it is my time to show off now. The moment that Long Chen was done speaking, he went on to release his aura. All of a sudden, the monsters seemed to have forgotten to breathe. No, it's more like, Long Chen deprived them of the air in their surroundings. Every single monster fell to their knees, feeling their heartbeats slow down at the same time. The tables were turned in that very second. 
It was the monster's time to endure the terrifying aura of their opponent. The monster kings stood from afar watching their army fall. Strangely enough, they couldn't feel the slightest bit of aura. Unbeknownst to the kings, Long Chin didn't target them. Monster Emperor Terras merely watched the struggle of his minions, his face heating up from the anger that rose from the pit of its stomach. He wanted to scare Long Chen by using his aura but Long Chen wasn't affected in the least. Instead, the man used his move against him. He felt ashamed that Long Chen was able to make all his army drop to their knees with just his aura. You're a good kid. Why don't you use that aura on me as well? I want to experience its strength as well. Monster Emperor Terras said as he stared at Long Chen. He knew that Long Chen didn't use his aura on him since he wouldn't even feel the slightest bit of it. I didn't use it on you and those little guys. You might be wondering for what reason, right? It's because I didn't want you and your people to be scared of facing me. I want to slaughter you when you're at your best, not when you're scared. Long Chen replied to Terras, concurrently pointing his finger at the monster kings. You bastard. After killing the Tiger King when he wasn't paying attention, you think you can kill us as well. You think we'll be scared of you. The Bull King roared, unable to stop himself from being angered. Oomph, he is so deceitful. He must know that his little aura is only slightly strong and can't affect me and those little guys. To not get found out, he didn't use it on us and still refuses to use it on us. Monster Emperor Terras said to himself. Do you want to die or watch your army be slaughtered first? Long Chen said playfully. Once his attention shifted from Terras to the Bull King, his expression became serious. You have a really big mouth, haven't you? You think you can kill everyone here, including me? The Bull King laughed, outraged all the while glaring at Long Chen. I can, but my time would be wasted on worthless creatures like. Long Chen replied casually as he looked at the Bull King. The man didn't want to wait for the Bull King's reply. Thus, for a second time, he scanned the entirety of the monster kings with his gaze before speaking up again. Enough talking. I don't have much time to waste. I think I'll finish you guys first and then move on to the two big ones after. You are all not worthy enough to confront that sword. I'll just use this one. Long Chen muttered as he held Mountain Destroyer in his hand. It was the same spirit grade weapon that he had received from the Long Clan. I'll see how you kill me. Give me my sword. The Bull King roared. In an instant, two monsters, carrying a heavy sword in their hands conjointly, could be seen running towards their king. Here, master. One of the two monsters said as they gave this sword to Bull King. The sword appeared to be over one and a half meters tall and forty centimeters wide. It also had a thickness of approximately 5 centimeters. The Bull King picked the sword up effortlessly. He then held the sword with both of his hands. The monsters, who had carried the sword for the Bull King, were amazed when they saw their master picking the heavy sword up so easily. It was because they knew that it weighed roughly a thousand kilograms. It just showed how strong their master was. Can you hurry up? I want to end you as soon as possible, since that guy might be waiting for you in hell. I don't want to keep him waiting for long. Long Chen said as he pointed at Tiger King's dead body. You. The Bull King felt like coughing up a mouthful of blood all the while he was listening to Long Chen. Fuming with anger, he started to run towards Long Chen. He used his law of strength at the start of his attack along with his sword. However, the sword didn't even make contact with Long Chen. It just swung down an empty space. The Bull King realized that Long Chen had slightly moved and his sword only hit the man's after image. He immediately turned back thinking that Long Chen would appear behind him to retaliate. But there was no one behind him. He looked around the area, yet he couldn't see anyone. Stop hiding you coward. The Bull King roared in anger. Once more, he roamed his gaze in his surroundings and finally, he noticed that everyone else was looking at him from the ground. 
He went ahead and looked up, only to see a sword coming down at him. It penetrated his head at the very center. Just like that, he died without believing how easily he was killed. Long Chen was up in the air, looking like a demonic angel with his black and golden wings. He then took his bloodied sword out from the bull king's head. Following that, he diverted his attention to the appalled monster kings. After seeing their comrade die in an instant, the skeleton king felt the most afraid for its life. Still, it wanted to instill in the minds of the other kings how powerful their enemy was. With that in mind, the skeleton king shouted to make himself heard. Everyone. He is a tricky one. We need to attack him together so that we don't fall for his tricks. Chapter 97 97.1 more to go you are listening at novelfull.audio Everyone, listen. He is a tricky opponent. We need to strike him concurrently so that we don't fall for his tricks. The skeleton king's voice resounded loudly in the area, garnering the attention of the monster kings nearby. They all shouted in acknowledgement and assumed their own attacking stance shortly after. Soon, Long Chen was bombarded with the attacks of eight monster kings, four of whom chose to use their weapons in order to engage Long Chen in a physical fight. Meanwhile, the other half decided to use their martial skills to attack Long Chen. The skeleton king was part of the latter four. He had decided to use the same martial skill that he used to free Tiger King from the ice prison. Inferno. The skeleton king roared. Right then, a huge wave of fire spread out on the ground before taking the shape of a three-dot-meter tall skeleton. It was carrying a large hammer in its hand. With heavy steps, it began to make its way towards Long Chen. Sword of Judgment. Another monster king hollered. Latterly, a large flaming sword, having the length of over five meters, appeared above him. The other monster kings decided to utilize a similar nature of attack. Once they had called forth their abilities, a crow and an axe made of fire materialized in the air. On the other side of the battlefield, the monster kings, who opted for a physical fight like the bear king, gave way to the attacks of their comrades. In a haste, they stepped aside in order for the attacks to land directly on Long Chen. They determined that it would be the best strategy, considering that they could finish off Long Chen once he had received damage. Regrettably for them, Long Chen wasn't the least tad intimidated. He just stood there with a slight smile on his countenance all the while watching the attacks on root him. First came the flaming sword that was advancing rapidly towards him. But the instant that it was merely a few inches away from Long Chen, the sword stopped from moving. It appeared as if it was frozen, trapped by an invisible force in the air. All the monster kings who were watching with anticipated gazes were, beyond a shadow of doubt, stunned at what they had just witnessed. Every single one of them thought that, at the least, Long Chen would act to defend himself. Clearly, Long Chen didn't move an inch yet the flaming sword couldn't even touch him, let alone inflict an injury on his unbothered body. He's using some kind of barrier on himself. Monster Emperor Teres muttered in disbelief. Humph. Even the barrier of the Queen of the Banshee tribe was broken when two monster kings attacked together. I refuse to believe that this barrier will be able to stop all four of our attacks. The skeleton king said with confidence. He was on the edge of his seat, waiting for his fiery skeleton to take its turn in attacking Long Chen. The second attack to take a chance on damaging Long Chen was the crow made of blazing flames. However, it arrived at the same fate that the flaming sword had gotten itself into. It couldn't even quiver out of the situation. Long Chen stood there calmly, gazing at the battlefield with mirth in his eyes. All he could see were the shocked reactions of the audiences, and that included Queen Mia. Dnav Om I thought that only his offensive power was strong since he was able to break the barrier protecting our empire. However, his defense seems to be strong as well. I didn't know. Queen Mia thought as narrowed her eyes on Long Chen. In less than no time, the fiery skeleton had reached Long Chen. Almost immediately, it attacked the man with its blazing hammer. 
Unfortunately, it also became stuck in its position when it entered Long Chen's range. The fiery skeleton struggled to move the hammer, but it couldn't no matter how much it tried. The axe made of fire was immovable as well. The whole battlefield went completely silent. Everyone was staring at Long Chan, their mouths wide open out of astonishment. He. He can take the attacks of four monster kings so easily. He made it look like he's playing with them, Mazuma's muttered with shock written all over his face. The fire that created the skeleton, the axe, the sword, and the crow began to lose its luster. No sooner than a minute did it totally disappear. The fire of the skeleton, axe, sword, and the crow all started dimming before eventually disappearing. Carefree and unscathed, Long Chen merely watched as the attacks of the monster kings came to their pitiful end. Oh by the way, since the four of you attacked me first, you'll be the ones dying first as well. Long Chen now decided to address the monster kings who had been his initial aggressor. Instead of the monster kings, a creature in the distance was the one to grab a retort at Long Chen. Before that, you'll be the one dying. Long Chen turned his head and saw a giant fist covered with flames coming towards him. Without a second of hesitation, Long Chen moved from his spot in order to dodge the attack. Well, aren't you an ugly looking bear? Long Chen uttered mockingly. Why are you running? Come face me. The Bear King roared in anger as he looked at Long Chen with all the malice it could muster. I'm not running. I just don't want to kill you accidentally. I already promised that they'll be the ones dying first. Long Chen then pointed a finger towards the Skeleton King. Obviously enough, it incurred the fury of the Monster Kings. You. Just because you can counter our attacks, do you think you can kill all four of us? One of the monster kings snorted in retaliation. Long Chen didn't want to bother himself by fighting the monster kings with words. A smirk soon appeared on his face, sending a chill down the spines of his opponents. In an instant, Long Chen vanished from his spot and reappeared in front of the monster king that snorted at him. The man held the king by his neck, two wings appearing on Long Chen's back simultaneously. He flew towards the sky with the monster king in his hand. Once he had reached the height of a hundred meters, he released the monster king from his grip. The king howled for his life as he felt his descent accelerating by the second. While everyone had their gazes on the falling monster king, Long Chen disappeared from his spot. The moment that the monster king hit the ground, the sound of flesh colliding with a hard surface reverberate loudly in the area. Mixed in with the sound was someone's hampered screaming. They looked around only to search for the source, only to see two monster kings lying on the ground, though they were beheaded. Their heads could be seen near their bodies, their eyes still wide open. Of course, the perpetrator, Long Chen, was standing near one of the dead monster kings with a bloody sword in his hands. He slowly began walking towards the skeleton king. Afraid for its life, the king attempted to retreat when he figured that he was the next target. Three gone, one more to go. Long Chen muttered as he continued walking towards the skeleton king. What are you doing watching? Help me. The skeleton king roared at the other monster. Freshly coming out of his musing, the bear king made a run for Long Chen with the rest of the monster kings in his toe. Enough. I've seen enough. Someone abruptly screamed, you've already destroyed the reputation of us monsters. At this point, do you think you can defeat him? Chapter 98 98. Promises are made to be broken you are listening at novelfull.audio. Enough. I've seen enough. Came a loud voice gaining everyone's attention. You've already destroyed the reputation of us monsters. Do you think you can defeat him? Monster Emperor Terras couldn't help but say loudly as he saw the monster kings being killed one after another. I promise we can defeat him. Bear King said as he continued ahead without stopping. I can't stop now. It's time for me to prove myself. Bear King thought as he continued ahead. Other monster kings stopped but after thinking for a moment, they also followed the Bear King. 
I told you that I'll get back to you later, but it looks like you're eager to die. Your time will come, Long Chen said as he watched the Bear King coming towards him. Since he made a statement that he'll kill the Skeleton King first, he'll be his target. I can attack him and kill him easily. Bear King thought as he continued advancing. I'll see if your strength is stronger or my law of strength. Bear King, full of fighting intention, still continued running towards Long Chen as he punched out. But Long Chen instead of dodging his attack and attacking the Skeleton King like the Bear King thought he would, stood there as he gripped his sword tightly. As the Bear King reached near Long Chen, not seeing him move, the Bear King was confused but didn't stop as he attacked towards Long Chen's head. As Bear King's attack neared Long Chen, Long Chen did a footwork as he slightly dodged to the side. He saw the Bear King's fist pass by from the sidelines. Time seemed to have stopped as he moved his sword and slashed twice. Ah, a loud pained roar echoed out in the battlefield, which everyone heard. Bear King's hands fell to the ground, detached from his body as his body continued ahead because of the momentum. Bear King soon stopped as he dropped to his knees and roared in pain. Brutal as always, Queen Mia muttered as she saw Long Chen cutting the Bear King's hands. She couldn't help but look downwards as her expressions became downcast slash Long Chen walked towards the Bear King while the Bear King tried controlling his screams of agony. You lied. You said you'll kill those four first. You're unjust. What type of person are you that you don't even keep your words? Bear King roared like crazy. I never promised anything and even if I did, haven't you heard that promises are made to be broken? Were the last words Bear King heard as he saw the world rotating, the sky changing to the ground while the ground became the sky. He could see Long Chen holding a sword who turned upside down as well, soon the ground hit his head. His vision blurred as he could only see Long Chen's legs. His vision darkened as he died. This. This, Skeleton King stuttered as he lost even the little bit of confidence he had retained as he saw Bear King being killed. Long Chen moved and immediately appeared near the Skeleton King and punched out. Skeleton King who was thinking about a plan to survive was shocked when he suddenly saw Long Chen disappear from his original spot and appear near him before he could even turn around, a fist stuck his head. As Long Chen's fist connected with the Skeleton King's skull, it was blasted into smithereens which flew everywhere. The headless body of Skeleton King fell to the ground lifeless. Ha, now I'm free to handle you little guys, Long Chen turned around and looked at the remaining monster kings. That's seven, three more left. Long Chen walked away from the headless body of the Bear King as he looked at the remaining three monster kings. The entire battlefield soon saw Long Chen slaughter the remaining monster kings brutally before shifting his gaze to Monster Emperor Terras. I'm amazed that you didn't try to stop me when I killed that bear and the others, Long Chen said with a slight smile. Why would I save them? Since they didn't hear my orders they deserved their deaths. If you hadn't killed them, I personally would have, Monster Emperor Terras said softly. You know, it's still not too late for you to kill them now, Long Chen said with a slight smile as he gazed at Monster Emperor Terras. Dot, what do you mean? Aren't they already dead? Monster Emperor Terras inquired with a confused look. Nope, they're alive in the underworld now. I'll send you there as well. You can then personally kill them there. If you hurry, you can meet them and fulfill your wish sooner. Long Chen said seriously as if he was actually telling the truth. You dare mock me. You're courting death. Monster Emperor Terras fumed in anger as he heard Long Chen's words. You know it feels like I've seen you somewhere. Looks like your species is going to be extinct in this world as well, Long Chen muttered as he stated at Monster Emperor Terras which reminded him of the long dot extinct dinosaurs on Earth. You'll be the one going extinct. Field of Fire Monster Emperor Terras roared as a ring of fire was formed around them preventing Long Chen from exiting. Ah. You remember I can fly right? Long Chen asked as he saw the ring appear. Of course I know, that's why I made this. 
Monster Emperor Terras smiled slightly as he replied, Fall of eternal destruction. Monster Emperor Terras roared as the sky above then turned red. Many suns appeared above their head probably more than a hundred, all made of fire. They looked similar to the sun's tiger king created to break Queen Mia's ice prison but their numbers were way more than the three tiger king had created. Also, they looked much larger and much stronger as well. These suns covered the complete sky as they even spread a little outside the ring of fire, I should give you some credit. Looks like you planned everything. This ring to prevent me from exiting and those suns to prevent me from flying as well as your crush me. Don't you feel that you're not as stupid as you look, Long Chen said smiling as he looked at Monster Emperor Terras. Of course, I don't want you to live a single day more in this world. This will be the moment you will die. Monster Emperor Terras replied with a malicious grin. Monster Emperor Terras gazed at the sun with his red eyes as he gestured slightly. All the sun started dropping towards Long Chen at rapid speed Monster Emperor Terras turned to look back towards Long Chen but found the spot empty. Before he could do anything, all the suns dropped on the empty spot, creating loud explosions and craters. The whole ground was filled with them, but the ground below Monster Emperor Terras was safe and sound as Monster Emperor Terras knew that Long Chen wasn't there, he looked around and saw something which made him cough a mouthful of blood due to anger. Chapter 99 99, Escaped You Are Listening at Novel Full. Audio. As Monster Emperor Terras knew that Long Chen wasn't there, he looked around and saw something which made him cough a mouthful of blood due to anger. When he found that Long Chen had escaped his ring of fire, he thought that Long Chen would either try to attack him or run away in fear of him but he didn't expect what he saw. Monster Emperor Terras looked everywhere only to find Long Chen doing something opposite his expectation. Long Chen was slaughtering the monsters on the battlefield ignoring Monster Emperor Terras who roared in anger as he saw Long Chen have time to slaughter little monsters in between the battle with him. He felt like Long Chen was making fun of him. How dare you insult me! He roared at Long Chen who turned back with an amused expression as he continued slaughtering monsters by hundreds every minute while staring at Monster Emperor Terras with a smile. Oh, I was bored with your performance, so I decided to have my own fun. Although these guys aren't strong, watching your face turn red is pretty fun. Long Chen laughed lightly as screams of monsters kept echoing on the battlefield. Oh, by the way, what was that ring of fire? Was that really to stop me, or just a joke? It was funny if it was the latter, Long Chen said in a mocking tone. Monster Emperor Terras was filled with shame as he turned crazy in anger and ran towards Long Chen, not caring about the monsters being crushed below him. Hmm, I guess it's time to end it. Long Chen muttered as his expression suddenly turned serious as he got in an attacking stance with his sword. Better finish it fast, Long Chen thought as he kept the mountain destroyer back in his ring and brought out his king's sword. He held the king's sword in his hands as a fierce sword aura spread in the atmosphere. Seven forms of saint sword. Fourth form. Desolation. Long Chen let out loudly as he slashed with his king's sword. An arch of bright light could be seen, filled with terrifying power, which passed Monster Emperor Terras as it continued ahead killing everyone who came in its path whether it be a monster or a tribe warrior before it disappeared in the horizon. A. Monster Emperor Terras stood there as his eyes were opened wide. He coughed out black blood before his body split into two parts from the center, falling to the ground. Many couldn't help but vomit as they saw this gruesome scene. Ah. Hope you can get your last wish to kill them fulfilled in Underworld, Long Chen said in a gentle tone as he turned back, shifting his attention from half-split body of Terras. There was one more wasn't there. Long Chen looked around trying to find the monster emperor he saw standing at the corner of the battlefield since the beginning, but he couldn't find him anywhere. Where is he? Long Chen looked at Queen Mia, who was standing there in a daze watching the dead monster emperor Terras. She couldn't believe that one of the most terrifying existence of their world was killed so easily by Long Chen. She came out of daze as she heard Long Chen's voice before turning to him. Where is that ugly monster who was standing there? 
Long Chen asked as he pointed towards a specific direction. Queen Mia looked in that direction and was stunned to see that it was the spot where Monster Emperor Shantia was standing. She also started looking around but couldn't find him anywhere on the battlefield. Ah! He might have. Escaped. She replied in a doubtful tone as she herself couldn't believe that a Monster Emperor would escape leaving his entire army behind. It's fine, I want to see how he could escape, Long Chen muttered. Where is the place the monster tribe resides in? Long Chen asked, looking at the queen. Ah. That way. There's a large forest after a few days of travel. It's the place the monster tribe resides in. Queen Mia let out with a blank expression as she looked towards a specific direction. Ha, a large forest. That makes it easier for me. Long Chen said in an unnatural tone. Here, great master, take this. It's something we use to determine directions. You can go in the direction where the pointer with the square end points at and you'll reach the monster tribe. Tribe leader Bala said as he gave Long Chen an object that looked like a compass. Now that's something useful. You guys take care of those remnants of the monsters. I'll be right back in a short time, Long Chen muttered as he walked away. After looking around for a while, he soon found an Elfian horse on the battlefield but he gave up on his plan to use that horse soon after as he thought that it would waste too much time, which he already lacked in this world as he had already passed the trial. I'm sure I'll be able to catch up to him with my demonic wings even if I take breaks in between because of my depleted chi. He couldn't have gone much farther than I'm sure I saw him standing there not too long ago. Too bad I can only use spatial travel only once in a day, that too to only the places I have visited before and are within a hundred kilometers of range. I'll be sure to improve this ability in the future as it's really useful, Long Chen thought as he gazed towards his destination direction. Heavenly Demon Wings He muttered as two beautiful wings appeared behind him as he flew up in the sky and immediately disappeared from everyone's view. So fast. If he learned the law of wind, I can only imagine how fast he'd be. Tribe leader Bala thought amazed as he saw Long Chen fly away. Don't waste time. Kill all the monsters. Queen Mia ordered her warriors. BL.net let them know the result of initiating an unjust war on the world. Tribe leader of Barong tribe, Bala said loudly. Wipe them all out. Tribe leader Mazumas told the army of the Mulan tribe. Similarly, every leader ordered their troops as the slaughter began. Although the monster army was still slightly stronger than the coalition army since they didn't have the support of the monster king or monster emperor whereas the enemies had the support of tribe leaders who were involving themselves in the fight. Soon the numbers of the monster army kept decreasing and decreasing. Thousands of monsters kept dying every minute. Come on, don't hide. Let me finish it fast. I want to utilize the time I have left on this world doing cultivation, not playing hide and seek with you. Long Chen let out as he flew at a really fast speed but he couldn't see Monster Emperor Shintia. Chapter 100 100, that's not for me to worry about you are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 100 100 that's not for me to worry about, come on, don't hide. Let me finish it fast. I want to utilize the time I have left on this world in cultivation, not in playing hide and seek with you. Long Chen let out as he was flying at a really fast speed but he couldn't see Monster Emperor Shintia. Looks like I'll need to take a break soon. Long Chen muttered as he could feel that his chi was about to be depleted. He was just about to stop when he noticed someone at the far end of the horizon, running away with heavy steps. A smirk appeared on Long Chen's face as he increased his speed. He was soon above his head but the person running didn't know. You were right old friend Balong. We shouldn't have antagonized that human. We should have formed peace with the other tribes and that human. But instead, we chose to ignore you and choose the path of destruction. We screwed up my friend. We just might have begun the process of extinction of our tribe. Monster Emperor Shantia kept running as he muttered to himself. 
that friend of yours sounds like a sensible person. I'm amazed that your monster tribe has someone who's sensible. Came a voice from above. Monster Emperor Shintia stopped running as he had already guessed who it was. As expected of a human. You've already reached me. Are you going to kill me now? Monster Emperor Shintia said without looking up as he stopped running. Long Chen came down from the air as his heavenly demon wings disappeared. He stood behind Monster Emperor Shintia. No monster who took part in this war shall leave alive, Long Chen said in a heavy voice. What about those monsters who didn't take part in this war? Monster Emperor Shintia said without looking back. Why didn't they join the war? Long Chen asked, all of the monsters left behind are either kids or elderly. Monster Emperor Shintia said. There is no monster king or monster emperor there. Who's this Balan you were calling old friend, Long Chen asked, feeling interested. He's the only monster emperor still alive other than me. He was against this war and instead wanted peace, whereas Terra's wanted revenge. In the end, I favored Terra's plan, thus a war was declared. Monster Emperor Shintia explained. Oh, since it was two against one and war was decided upon, why didn't he take part in the war? Did you feel like you two were enough so he stayed behind? Long Chen inquired with a slight smile. No, he was against the war and didn't want to take part in it, so he decided to stay behind to take care of the younger generation of monsters, Monster Emperor Shintia said in a deep voice. Ha, you think I'll believe you that he doesn't want war. He won't come for revenge as well. Long Chen asked with a thoughtful expression. Dot, he won't. He believed that revenge would cause destruction of the monster tribe, so he won't do it, Monster Emperor Shintia replied. I have no reason to believe you. After I kill you, I'll go to your tribe to exterminate every monster, just like you declared this war to slaughter everyone. Long Chen replied in his heavy voice. You. Even if I die, I won't let you kill the innocent of my tribe. A strong fighting intent appeared in Monster Emperor Shintia as he turned back instantly and punched out with his muscular hand. But strangely enough, he saw no one standing there as no one was behind him. His fist only hit the air. He turned back but before he could don't turn, a fist landed on his face making him fly far away. You think that you can stop me? Long Chen asked with a slight smile on his face. Even if I can't stop you, I won't let you kill innocent people who had nothing to do with this war. Monster Emperor Shintia roared. Hell of Titan. He roared as his eyes turned blazing red. The ground suddenly became a sea of fire. This fire was blazing red in color. They were near the small stream, but the water kept evaporating rapidly. That was a good one. If I didn't have wings, I would have been in serious trouble. Long Chen smiled as he said, Monster Emperor Shintia gazed at Long Chen who was flying in the air with his heavenly demon wings. We know that you're really strong. So why don't you face me like a man? Why are you using your wings to dodge my attacks? Monster Emperor Shintia said as he looked up to Long Chen. Why would I? I'm using my own strength against yours, still, I'll come down, Long Chen said with a slight smile as he got down to the ground in the middle of the blazing sea of fire. A strange phenomenon was seen as the flames which were in a few inches range on Long Chen's body kept being frozen in space, not harming him in the slightest. You are using the same barrier you use to protect yourself against the Monster King attacks. Monster Emperor Shintia couldn't help but say loudly. Whatever I use, is my own choice. Anyway, since we're playing like men, why don't you take my attack without dodging as well? Long Chen laughed as he said. Seven forms of Saint Sword. Second form. Devastation. Long Chen got in his attacking stance as he attacked with his king's sword towards Monster Emperor Shintia. Internal Armor Monster Emperor Shintia said as blazing armor appeared around his body, which soon turned to a steel dot-like structure. Barrier Monster Emperor Shintia also used a barrier on his body to prevent Long Chen's attacks. 
the attack landed on the barrier, breaking it immediately and continued ahead. Monster Emperor Shantia, seeing his barrier broken, attacked work his sword as well, but his sword was broken as soon as it came in contact with Long Chen's attack. The barrier resisted for a moment before completely breaking, but this was enough to diminish the power of Long Chen's attack. The attack, although weakened in power, still landed on Monster Emperor Shencha's chest, making him fall to the ground as a huge sword wound appeared in his chest. It's time for you to die, Long Chen appeared near Monster Emperor Shantia who was on the ground roaring in pain. You. You can kill me as I've made the mistake of not stopping this war but. But don't kill people in the monster forest. They weren't involved in this war, especially Balong who was against it, Monster Emperor Shantia said, controlling his pain. You don't need to tell me what I should and shouldn't do. It's for me to decide. You can die for now. Long Chen said as he separated Monster Emperor Shencha's head from his body with his sword. Actually, you don't need to worry about it as I don't want to kill the ones not involved in it, more importantly, I don't have enough time to go find the monster tribe and exterminate them. I only have a few more days left so that I can stay in this place. I want to utilize the cultivation advantage I have in this place as much as possible while I'm here. Long Chen muttered as he gazed at Monster Emperor Shencha's body. That Balong, if what you said is true, does sound like a good choice that will bring your tribe towards a peaceful future, until a few more degenerates like you are born. But that's not for me to worry about. Long Chen said lightly as he started walking back.